Every woman on earth has fantasized about some explicit sexual fantasy that she may or may not have been too ashamed to talk about. Whether it's your girlfriend or your wife, this top 10 list is sure to touch on a forbidden fantasy of her own. Although most women prefer to leave their fantasies at that, others have a list that they are slowly but surely accomplishing. So the next time your woman seems to be wandering off in thought, who knows? She may be cruising around in the mystical world of sexual fantasy. So, do you think you can guess what some of them are? This list took a lot of time to comprise and a few bottles of red wine as well. And the women's names have been changed to protect their privacy. So the next time you're engaging in pillow talk with your lady of the night, her fantasy may be more common than you might think. Drum roll, please. Keep in mind that fantasies are normal and healthy part of our sexuality. They are either taken from past experiences or may even be entirely imaginary. Sometimes these fantasies are taboo or socially unacceptable. Therefore, they are only available through fantasy. But as you'll figure out today, the modern woman marvels at sex and sexuality. Hello and welcome to another episode of Top 10. I'm your host, Freddie Shabin. And today I want to share with you the top 10 women sexual fantasies. And here we go. Number 10, Strangers in the Night. Many women relish the idea of meeting up with a mystery man and going to some no-name motel with him for a wild night of uninhibited sex. Sometimes women feel like the only people they can truly let loose with are strangers, simply because they won't be judged. And who cares anyway? They'll probably never see the beautiful stranger again. Francine divulged her perspective. The idea of sharing a passionate night with a stranger and behaving like a sexual predator does not just sound inviting, it sounds delicious. And leaving after we're done without even knowing each other's names is the best part. Number 9. The more, the merrier. Group sex was a popular one among the ladies. The freedom of being nude in front of a bunch of people who are equally exposed, allowing different men and women to touch and penetrate your body simultaneously is incredibly erotic. Now don't mistakenly assume that all women want to engage in group intercourse and gather up all your buddies for your next date, unless, of course, she asks you to. Number 8. Who's your daddy? If there is one thing that women are dying to do, it's dominate a man like never before. The creative ideas that flowed from this topic were quite interesting, to say the least. They included spanking him, ordering him to perform certain sexual acts, making him beg for what he wants, having him suck on their stiletto heels or some other phallic object. Number 7 lay me out on display. In today's world of confident women, I was not surprised to learn that many of them fantasize about having an audience while engaging in sexual acts with a partner. I guess the idea of knowing that others are getting excited by their performance provides them with a feeling of empowerment. Imagining that people are watching me while I'm taking my partner's manhood into my mouth gives me a feeling of satisfaction because it makes me feel sexier. Perhaps these women feel as though they're participating in an erotic movie, speaking abstractly, of course. Number six, sexually ravaged. Although most women agreed that they fantasize about having a master, their role in the scenario differed. Whereas some women said they would surrender to their master's demands, Others opposed the idea and said they would resist and disobey his commands. Vicky said, 
Having him instruct me on how to lick and suck his member, or at what pace to ride him, will make me orgasm faster than I can say, yes, master. On the other hand, Denise interrupted, saying, It depends. In some fantasies I obey, yet in others I fight him and refuse to do anything he says until he finally ties me to the bed and calms me with his rhythmic penetration. Whew. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Number 5. I taw, I taw, put it at. Come on, guys, I'm sure you smelled this one coming from miles away. No pun intended, seriously. Yes, virtually every woman wants or will share her body with another woman. Are you jealous because you get left out? Don't be. Most of these women want their men to watch them while they work, or play, as the case may be. The idea of touching another soft, hairless body and softly sucking her tongue, amongst other things, seems very erotic," said Sarah. Actually, that does sound pretty inviting. But won't it be difficult for you guys to sit in the corner and just watch? After all, these women don't want you to participate. Okay, one of them did. Number 4. Leave a good tip. Keeping in mind that the women interviewed are professionals with commendable careers, some of them fantasized about being strippers, while others took things a step further and imagined being prostitutes. Obviously, the fantasy is romanticized beyond belief because the life of either is not so glamorous that women would opt to have it as a career choice. While I'm performing a lap dance for my customer, he hands me a hundred dollar bill and requests that I perform the lap dance, minus his pants, Tina boldly stated. When I asked Amber about her prostitution fantasy, she said, the gentleman would pick me up in his expensive car and I would ride him in the driver's seat in some dingy black alley. He would pay me my fee and I'd be on my way. Number 3. Two can chew. Most men enjoy being spoiled by two women who fawn over them simultaneously. In the same instance, women also fantasize about having two men all over their bodies. Some wanted a more gentle erotic scene, while the rare few wanted porno-like sex. One of the most interesting statements regarding two men was having one penetrate her while the other licked her clitoris. It sounds virtually impossible, especially if the guys are not bisexual, but nevertheless intriguing. Other good ones include having two guys perform coming lists simultaneously or having one guy perform oral sex while the other sucks on her breasts. Oh, and this goes on for hours by the way. Another woman made no secret of the fact that she wants to be nasty and do all the taboo things that most women would find degrading. She wants to be penetrated from the anus and the vagina. She wants the guys to release their load all over her and craziest of all, she wants to be blindfolded through it all. Number 2. Strap me on. I'm going in. By far one of the most popular fantasies women have is being the man for one night. Literally. They would like to act and dress up like a man, and I mean straight down to the penis. That's right, I'm referring to a strap-on penis. One woman actually had the opportunity to fulfill her fantasy and took full advantage of her boyfriend's willingness. It was absolutely incredible to be able to penetrate a man and feel the empowerment usually associated with being the aggressor. There is something about having a man in a vulnerable position that is an incredible turn on, Carol admitted. The idea of knowing that we are in the position that is usually assumed by men is probably the most aphrodisiacal element of it all. Number 1. Oh, my virgin ears. Although saying rape fantasy sounds somewhat unthinkable, that's exactly what most women call it. They want to play the innocent, naive, unknowing little girl who gets taken advantage of by the devious, predator-like man. Forcibly pushing her against the wall and pinning my arms above my head with one hand while the other hand has made its way under my skirt and is fondling my vagina. Received nods of approval by all women in the room. Andrea went even further expecting the man to rip off my clothes, force open my legs, penetrate me, and concurrently smear my lipstick all over my face with his forceful kiss. Hmm, interesting. 
Guys, please keep in mind that these are fantasies. Don't read this article and take it as a reason to get medieval on your woman. The reason fantasies are so cherished is because the majority of them will never be realized. So have you ever heard of any of these before? Or better yet, have you ever participated in any of them? Women of the new millennium have established their position in this sexually charged environment. And I mean that exactly how it sounds. So gentlemen, protect yourselves at all time and start doing that by getting yourself some condoms. Until next time, enjoy the femme fatale of your fantasies. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed another episode of Top 10. I'm your host, Freddie Shabin. Please leave in the comments any type of suggestions of any other videos you'd like me to do. And also leave in the comments some of your fantasies that are still fantasies and some of the fantasies that you actually have fulfilled. Thank you so much. Stay healthy, stay safe, and be happy.